Hey everyone, I'm Steph. Welcome back to my channel, The Secret Slob. If you can't tell, I absolutely love cleaning. I think it's the best. My house is always perfect. Who am I kidding? I don't like cleaning. I never have. I find it so hard to get motivated to do. I mean, the channel's called The Secret Slob for a reason. This is something I've always struggled with. Until the past few years when I discovered the Fly Lady system, which takes a lot of the load off my plate and taught me how I can be more efficient with my time and utilize daily routines and habits to really keep my house at more of a manageable level. But there's still times when it gets super messy because you know, I have three kids and life is life. There are still a lot of times when I find it really hard to get motivated to clean up my house or even just get started and do anything. In this video, I'm gonna show you some of my favorite cleaning games that I've made up to trick myself into getting started cleaning and actually kind of like it. I know it seems crazy, but trust me, these work. So if you've been beating yourself up for being lazy or not having a system or just feeling like things are out of control, stop right now. Often all you need is a little something to trick your mind into getting started and then you're off to the races. Okay, let's jump in. All right, let's start super simple. This one you can start right now because if you're watching this, I know you have a device that you can watch YouTube on and probably podcasts and maybe even TV. My first cleaning game and probably my number one go-to is called TV cleaning. And basically all you do is take your phone or your tablet or I often use my laptop, carry it around with you and watch your favorite television show. I can get so much done in the time of an episode of Seinfeld or Grey's Anatomy, it's almost unbelievable. And it doesn't feel like work because I'm still watching my show. So often when I'm feeling unmotivated, I say, I'm gonna watch an episode of Grey's Anatomy. I just really like that show. And I'll get to work and before I know it, I've watched a whole episode and a ton of stuff has gotten done. If you've never tried TV cleaning, I guarantee this will work. I learned this from another mom and it is the best. Pretty simple, right? Catch up on your favorite shows and get some cleaning done. I can't think of something better. So in the same vein of TV cleaning, let's talk about a classic that we used to do all the time when I was a kid, and maybe you did too, commercial cleaning. So back when we all used to watch regular TV with regular commercials, my dad would always say, okay, we watch TV, but when the commercial comes on, we all run around the house and clean up as fast as we can. And the commercial breaks were about two and a half minutes long, and sure enough, we would jump up, run around, clean up as much as we could, and run back to the couch for the show to start. It's actually really clever because in a 30 minute time block of a show, there was like 10 minutes of commercials. So we ended up getting a ton done, but it always felt like more fun because you're racing the clock and you're racing with each other and you're racing to get back to watch the show. So let's try a little commercial cleaning right now. I'm gonna talk about the sponsor of this video for the next 60 seconds. You're gonna jump up and clean as much as you can. Try and get back here before I'm done. Ready, go. This video is sponsored by True Earth Environmental Laundry Strips. Thank you so much, True Earth, for partnering with me over the last year and a bit. It's been so much fun, and I'm so proud to spread the message of the True Earth movement. It's time to start being kind to the planet, and this is a super easy first step. Using True Earth Laundry Strips means we're taking big plastic jugs right out of the equation. Instead of shipping multiple gallons of water all over the world, we're just shipping this one tiny little box, and this contains enough strips to do an entire year's worth of laundry. Not only that, they're super simple to use. The laundry strips are inside, you tear one of these squares in half, pop it in your laundry, and you're good to go. I've been using fresh linen this year, which is a really nice, gentle scent, and I absolutely could not be happier with the results. My laundry smells better, it's cleaner, and best of all, I'm helping the planet. So if you haven't had a chance to try out True Earth Strips yet, I highly recommend them. Head down to the description, I'll leave a link to their website and a code so you can get 10% off your order. What's better than that? And hey, never have to drag home a giant jug of laundry soap from the store again. Okay, stop. Commercial over, 60 seconds. Did you jump up? Did you get something done? I bet you did. If you did, I bet you it was a lot more than you thought was possible to get done in one 60 second break. You can apply this game to all kinds of things in your life. Starting the coffee pot and waiting for coffee, run around and get something done, 
or toss your laundry in, do your swish and swipe, maybe waiting for toast. It's incredible how little time some of these things actually take and the hardest part is just getting started. If you're waiting for the microwave or the toaster to pop or your coffee to brew, take those 30 seconds, one minute, two minutes, run around, get done what you can. You'll be amazed. You can check a ton of things off your list in just tiny little increments that you would have otherwise just been standing there watching the microwave go around. So cleaning game number two is commercial cleaning. I'm taking that name from my childhood, but especially if you're low on energy, give this one a try. Cleaning in tiny little chunks is still getting something done and still making progress. Okay, so those were two of my favorite games that let me feed my guilty pleasure of watching TV and also getting something done. I'm not gonna go any further without mentioning game number three, and that is a classic here on my channel, The Secret Slob, the five by five. If you've been here for even a half a minute, you have probably heard of this, and if you haven't heard of the five by five yet, I'm about to change your life. This is something I made up back when I was a complete and total mess, total slob, but it's a tool that I still use all the time when things just get a little bit overwhelming or I haven't done my chores for a couple days which still happens by the way. The five by five is super simple and it works like this. Pick five areas or rooms in your house, five, and then dedicate five minutes to cleaning up each one of them. It doesn't seem like a lot of time, but when you turn that timer on and you're under the pressure of the clock, it is incredible what you can get done. I usually like to start in the messiest room in my house, which is always my kitchen and that way if I finish early in one of the other rooms I can head back use that extra time to keep going in the kitchen it's only 25 minutes but by the end of it it actually looks like I've been cleaning for a half a day it works super well I've made a few videos about this and I even have a couple timers I'll link to them up here in cards and in the description below so if you want to give this one a try head over there I've got some awesome music you can listen to the timers all ready to go and you can just start hustling Five by five is super good when you are short on time and short on energy. The five by five works every single time. It is definitely my go-to cleaning game. Okay, here we are in my bathroom and the next game I'm gonna tell you about is called buddy cleaning because everything is just more fun with a buddy. So this is a really good one if you live far away from friends or family or you're at home with little kids all the time because you can't always get out and see your friends, but it's really important to stay in touch. So I love talking to my mom and my sister and my friends that live far away on the phone. And instead of sitting down and talking on the phone to them, what I often do is phone them and I clean up or sometimes we even clean up together. I'll usually do this in the evening when my husband's home so I can be totally focused on my phone call and I don't have to worry about what my kids are doing and then I can just kind of power through a bunch of stuff and catch up. So I end up getting a ton done, the time passes super quickly and I don't feel like I'm just sitting there by myself up in my room folding clothes. So kind of got a buddy with me. So I often phone my mom or my sister in the evening when I'm about to start folding laundry or I have to just clean up my room or my kid's room or the bathroom and we get on the phone we just have a little chat for half an hour and Stuff just gets done magically. This works really well, especially if you have some wireless headphones. They usually are all wireless and a little pocket you can tuck your phone into so you don't have to be crutching it in your ear and hurting your neck. It's not a big deal if you don't have something like that. I mean, we all do the neck crutch thing all the time, but it does make it a lot easier to have both your hands when you're cleaning. If nobody's answering the phone and you don't have a buddy to talk to, you can always just listen to some awesome music or check out a podcast. If you're not into podcasts yet, join that world. If you're watching YouTube and you're loving it, you'll love podcasts. Or you can even listen to your favorite YouTube videos. Tons of YouTube videos that I like watching are mostly just people talking about things, so it's just as easy to not watch and listen in on your headphones. Speaking of music, let's talk about the original cleaning game the cleaning dance party. So what you're gonna do is go put on your all time favorite guilty pleasure dance music. If you were born in the 80s, we all know it's Dance Mix 93, that's okay. Put on your all time favorite crazy pump you up dance music, grab your broom, grab your cleaning cloth and just get going. Make it fun, make it a dance party, get your kids involved, get your family involved. 
it won't feel like work at all. You're gonna trick yourself into thinking you're actually having a dance party, you're having fun. Cleaning is a chore, but it doesn't have to feel like a chore. It can be fun. And this is coming from me and I couldn't stand cleaning. This one works especially well if you're kind of having an off day or not feeling good because music, it lifts your spirit and can turn your whole day around. So pull out your favorite CD, or if you're not that old, head over to Spotify or even throw on a YouTube playlist. You can just type in cleaning motivation music and there are a million results. So many people are creating so many things to make our lives easier. It's amazing. So when it comes to getting your chores done, it's gotta happen, there's no getting around it, so you may as well find a way to make it fun. There are unlimited numbers of ways that you can make cleaning fun. So many games you can invent, rolling dice, pulling popsicle sticks, the classic chore wheel. Find the thing that works for you to get you motivated and help you get out of that rut of feeling like you're lazy, cause you're not. You just haven't found the right trick to get motivated yet. So I hope you tried something while I was talking. Maybe you did the commercial clean, but if not, and you've got another video lined up to watch, put your earphones in, throw your phone in your pocket, and get started getting something done. It doesn't have to be fast, it doesn't have to be fancy, and it never has to be perfect. Make sure to share your favorite cleaning games down in the comments because I know I read them and everyone else that does always finds so many helpful hints. There is gonna be tons of ideas I haven't thought of and so make sure you add them below in the comments so that everyone else can find something that works for them. And seriously, happy cleaning and I will talk to you later. Bye.